Hello again, YouTube, and I'm with I'm back with a short update just to show the uh, YouTube folks out there that um, you know what to expect from a little you know little power pack like this as far as what the end results uh, would be. And with this little power pack here, it stopped at 14.99 volts, as I mentioned in my earlier video, and that's awesome because if you look at the data sheet for the Maxwell supercapacitors um, as far as their leakage current. Um, the leakage current for these Maxwell supercapacitors uh, super is 5.2 milliamps, okay? So that's how much, you know, current or, you know, the leakage rate, if you will, um, you know, when these things are just kind of, you know, uh, draining down. So it's, we're talking the leak, leakage, a leakage current of 5.2 milliamps, that's basically, you know, very, very, very small. And looking at this right here, as you see right here, this thing is not fluctuating at all. It's, 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 it's rock solid at 14.99 and it's been there for a while. So I can expect that if, you know, let's say I just, just had this thing, my car parked, and just simply just take this little, this little box and just simply, you know, connect my alligator clips, you know, to the uh, terminals and it will keep that bat I will keep my ultra capacitors at you know at least the battery voltage and at 5.2 milliamps um, I mean that's that's close to nothing uh, so you know just you know again this is just an update to kind of give you an, a, a visual illustration of what I was talking about and you know for those folks that may be concerned with like hey you know these things are leaking down and maybe I need to go out and buy you know, a super big battery. You know, I've got another type of battery. I could, I could use something like this. This is my starter battery for, um, I have a propane generator uh, that, you know, with a, sitting right next to the big, you know, propane bottle. But this is my starter battery. I've got it up on a battery tender. And uh, I could put that in there, but I think that's just overkill. And, you know, looking at this right here with these ultra capacitors at 14.99 volts and, you know, these just a little pack like this, there's no excess heat or anything. Um, it just does fine. But anyway, just wanted to kind of update you on that and, uh, you know, give you something, you know, folks out there, something to consider. Um, and, you know, this is, this, you know, this is, this is considered, I would consider this like, think of it like a secondary battery. That's all. Just a secondary battery just used to keep the uh, ultra capacitors charge. Uh, again, those ultra capacitors produce a lot of power. They don't store a lot of energy. This stores more energy than these than this, the ultra capacitors in my battery box here. Um, but the thing is, obviously, they don't give up a, uh, you know as much power as these ultra capacitors do. But you know, in in keeping these things topped off and keeping them from leaking down, this is all I need, really. So. Again, as you can see, it's still fluctuating, you know, if anything, it's trying to go to 15 volts, <laughs> which is the battery voltage, it's still trying to go to 15 volts. But uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to show you folks, you know, what, what to expect and, um, you know, what you could expect and, uh, you know, just something for your consideration if, you know, if you're thinking about doing the same thing. And I, I really encourage you to, if you can, you know, take a look at these supercapacitors and, you know, and, uh, you know, see what you can do with them and upload a video. Take care.